So I've got Carl Hudson, the founder of Search Roo, and today's video is surrounding outsourcing agencies and whether you outsource any of the work you do yourself or whether it's all in-house, like what do you do with regards to trying to use an outsourcing agency? Yeah, so you could consider Search Roo obviously is almost an outsourcing agency for a lot of SEOs. Um, it's basically, in my, in my view, an outsourcing agency is somewhere where you don't necessarily have those skills and you don't have the time to learn those skills. So you're leveraging someone who already has those skills. So it could be a social media marketing agency. It could be a paid ad agency, you know, like Rick over at Statue. You could even leverage staff. So, for instance, we at Search Roo, do we use remote staff seeker sometimes for some of our VAs and virtual assistants? Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we do where basically where I don't necessarily have the skills or the time to spend on honing those skills. I'd rather hack that time. I don't know about yourself, Julie, because I know you run like quite a big agency with a lot of internal staff. So how do you utilize it? So all my staff though are kind of middle managers. So I, we outsource a lot. Um, so there's so many different outsourcing agencies that we use. You've mentioned Remote Staff Seeker. In my opinion, I feel they're the best VA agency there is in the world, bar none. Um, I've used staff um, virtual assistants in South Africa, in Venezuela, in India, in Bangladesh. Um, and he's generally in the Philippines. But because Daisy's based in the Philippines, I feel like I'm getting staff that are in an office. So the culture is good. You know, I know they've got internet connection. And I know that they've got middle management in place. So I like using Adam and Daisy for the VA kind of side as being one of the outsourcing agencies. Um, obviously, one of the main reasons why I invested into Searcheroo was Searcheroo. I was spending a lot of money on uh, backlinks, whether they were like guest posts or niche edits. So that has now become an outsourcing agency, even though I'm an investor in there now. Still for my rank and rent business and the SEO business and stuff like that, um, search who's become an outsourcing agency for backlinks there. Um, and yeah, then obviously I use Rick Hope at Statue All for anything to do with like Facebook ads or PPC. Um, I've used a lot of different paid ads agencies, but Statue All came out on top and now I use them for everything. I think that they're a great kind of outsourcing agency for myself on that front. And I think it all boils back down to that. If I was a, I'm almost like a project manager with what I do. So I make certain, I try to find who are the best in their lane and then I utilize their skills. And if I was to build an extension on my, my own house, I wouldn't go building the wall and doing the foundations and doing the roofing all myself. I'd go and get a bricklayer to build the wall. I'd go and get a roofer to do the roofing. And I feel that's exactly the same way for what I'm doing with digital marketing and SEO. I want to go and find the best content writers that there is in the industry and utilize their skills. I want to make certain I'm using Search Roo for backlinks because the team are doing it day in, day out. They've already negotiated the best rates for some of the highest DR sites. So if I can leverage outsourcing agencies for what they are experts at, then yes, it helps me generate more time and my, and my team have more time to think and grow and then think of more kind of niches that they can go into or more affiliate sites or more products or whatever it is, that then it, it just gives us more time by using outsourcing agencies. So basically, if you're not using an outsourcing agency, you're probably doing things wrong and you're probably bordering that solopreneur side. You want to start using an outsourcing agency. And obviously, we've mentioned quite a few niches there. So if anyone's got any type of outsourcing agency they've used before or any different industries, please feel free to comment below.